Hey guys, it's Shelly. So today we're gonna kind of go over some more off-ice workouts for you to do right before you go on ice for your skating sessions. So uh, stick around, we're gonna go off, go and do some just basics. So also, please, if you can, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and hit that little bell so you're notified of any new content that I post. Also check out my Instagram at Shelly Skates and also my Facebook page. All right, you guys, let's get started. First exercise I like to do when I'm warming up off ice is jump roping. When you jump rope, it's just a really great way to get your body pumping and to raise that heart rate up a bit so you can prepare for your workout, warm up your body properly. So what I like to do is to do 50 forwards on two feet. If you want, you can start with 25 if you can't do it. Um, but then from there, I'd like to go onto each foot. So I'll do 25 to 50 on the one foot, and then I will go ahead and switch and do 25 to 50 on the other foot. Remember, just do right now as much as you can. If you can't do all 50 or all 25 or whatnot, just take it step by step. And then from there, I like to do doubles. So that's when you jump up and you have the jump rope go under your feet two times before you come back down. Just start off with trying to get one and then as you get better and better you'll be able to do more and more. The next exercise I like to do are grapevines. So basically you're going to be running sideways but you're going to take your back leg and cross it in front and then behind on each step. So here is a slow motion of what it looks like. So you can see how that back leg goes in front of my leading leg and then behind. So I like to do this um, usually the length of the rink and then I come back. I like to then go into side hops or side skips. Just like the last exercise we did, I like to just go down the length of the rink and then come back. Make sure you just do both sides. In the air, your feet are going to come together and click, so make sure you get enough lift so you're able to click those feet together, which you can see here in slow motion. This next one's an interesting one and one of my favorites. It's a single leg butt kicks. So basically, you're jumping on one foot, but you're going to take that leg that you're jumping with, and as you jump up in the air, you're going to bend it and try to kick your butt. You're going to do this on each foot. Just do as many as you can. Maybe do anywhere from 6 to 10 if you can. Once again, this is kind of an interesting exercise, kind of difficult, so if you can't get it down, or you're having trouble with it, that's okay. Just build up and work your way to that point to where you can do it. Make sure you do both sides because this is really gonna work that jumping leg, which is gonna be really great for your jumps and your takeoffs on the ice. Once my body's pretty warmed up, I like to then go to single rotational jumps. So the whole goal of these is just to jump straight up, then rotate. Do not try to rotate while you're on the ground before you even jump. Let yourself lift, then rotate as soon as you leave the ground. You could do them with the arms above the head, or you could even do them with regular arms. You could also do those with a landing position as well. If you do them with two feet with the landing, you could kind of feel where all your body weight goes, and in turn, you can really feel if you're pre-rotating before you even jump, or if you are jumping, then rotating. Next exercise I like to do, basically I'm going to jump only a quarter rotation four times to make a full circle, then I'm gonna do two halves and then a full. Now you could also add on after that full rotation a double and you could land on two feet or hit that landing position. This next exercise is doing opposite rotations. You're gonna start off doing your rotating direction and then you're gonna land and go right up into the opposite direction just by doing singles. You can do four in a row, you can do six in a row, but on that last one, you're going to go ahead and do a double. Then I like to go ahead and do a double or one and a half with a back scratch into a landing position. This is really gonna help you 
get that extra rotation, whether you're doing doubles or triples. This is a great exercise for you to try. Before I start getting into doing my off-ice axle exercises, I like to just go over the quickness of my landing position. I do it from standstill. I just hop up and get that quick checkout. I also do this from a rotation. You could even use some stairs and jump off a stair onto the ground and get that quick landing position. This will just really help you increase that quickness. And of course, it's easier off ice than it is on ice. So I like to do this before axle exercises. And to see those axle exercises, check out my videos, axle exercises off ice part one and part two. Hey guys, so I hope that was helpful for you. There's a lot more that you can do too for uh, off ice and I will be posting more stuff regarding landing positions, spins, um, axle exercises, etc. So don't forget to subscribe to my, my YouTube channel and also uh, click that little bell so you can get all the notifications and check out some of my other videos. See you guys!